Hello, Ingrid. Can I have just a teeny tiny moment of your time? Sure. I can spare a moment or two. I was wondering, do you have any interest in fashion and makeup and stuff like that? I haven't the time to bother with such frivolities. As long as basic hygiene is being met, then I'm happy. Oh, but you're missing out on something so fun. I mean, it's not like you need it, of course. You've got beautiful bone structure, lovely hair, long legs, but aren't you interested in trying something new? Um, well, thank you. I suppose I do find it all somewhat intriguing. But my time is precious to me, and my focus is on knighthood. Taking time to paint my face simply isn't a top priority. Sure, but imagine if you could combine the two and become the most fabulous knight ever. Okay, maybe I'm taking it too far. I know knights don't necessarily need a ton of makeup or things like that for the job. I'm just saying, I really think you'd enjoy it if you opened your mind to it. All I'm talking about is a light touch. I can see it now. Your gorgeous face done up with a delicate application of makeup. The fabulous knight who everyone looks up to and wants to be. Um, well, maybe? I guess. That does sound mostly harmless. Hooray! Okay, we don't have a moment to lose. Here, take this makeup kit, play around with the colors, and see what speaks to you. Now, wait just a... I actually got that little kit as a gift the other day, and I wasn't sure what to do with it because I already have that one. It's a limited palette, but I think it fits the look you're going for perfectly. I actually never agreed to start putting that stuff on my face, Annette. What? Oh. Well then, I guess this whole kit will have to go to waste. I'll just throw it away like the garbage it is. You're throwing it away? I can't just stand by and let something go to waste. <sighs> okay. Alright. Thank you. We can do this. <laughs> That's the spirit! Oh. And I'm happy to help you learn to apply it, too. Come on, let's go to my room. I have some brush techniques to show you before you get started. Now, don't get carried away. Ugh. She played me like a fiddle. Ingrid? What's the matter, Annette? You look upset. I'm just so... so sorry. I had no idea. I'm not sure I follow. Take a breath. What's going on? Well, I was really curious about why you're not interested in things like makeup. So I asked some of our friends about it, and... Oh, I see. I imagine they mentioned that my family was fairly poor, and they probably also mentioned that I lost my fiancé, correct? They did. I'm so sorry. It was thoughtless of me to try pushing those things on you. It's perfectly fine, Annette. It's true, my family struggled financially. It wasn't easy growing up, but it taught me values I wouldn't have learned otherwise. And we weren't so poor that I consider myself deprived. I'm sure my family would have bought me makeup if I had wanted it. But it never mattered enough to me. Not then, and not now. Oh, so you just never sought that stuff out? Never. While I acknowledge it can be fun, fussing over my outward appearance isn't an instinct of mine. When I was younger, I'd usually be found covered in dirt, bugs in my hair, and a big smile on my face. Things haven't changed too much since. Then, when my fiancé passed on, my priorities shifted even further. It reminded me of what's most important in life. Beyond that, it's hard to think of myself changing without him around to see it, even if it's something trivial like how I present myself. But talking to you has helped me realize it's okay to loosen up and enjoy those things, if I want. So, thank you. Me? Oh, I didn't do anything at all, except pester. More importantly, do you notice anything different about me today? Yes. It's very subtle, but I could tell right away that you were using that makeup I gave you. You could? Oh, that makes me happy. I was trying to apply it just how you showed me. You did great. And it really suits you. 
I think there's a lot I can learn from you, Annette. You've helped me embrace the lighter side of life I quite like. It's my pleasure. Ooh, this is so great. Wanna go shopping to celebrate? Uh, shopping? But what would we buy? That sounds so overwhelming. <laughs> there's a dress I've been eyeing for a while now. I'm certain it will compliment your pretty eyes. Just leave it to me, Ingrid. I'll make you the most fabulous night this world has ever seen. Well, that does sound fun. I look forward to it. Thank <laughs> you.